again to their neighborhoods. And they do so by uh, making plant materials available that they can plant to create community gardens, uh, tree plantings, uh, even community vegetable gardens. The plants, in this case the trees, are made available uh, through an organization called the Lucas County Soil and Water Conservation District. And they should show up shortly here. So they provide the trees. The students actually grow the trees and excavate them, I guess is the word. Okay. So they're ready for planting. Um, so it's a, it's a real, the, the philosophy behind it is that Toledo grows once um, residents to wants to develop a better allegiance by the residents to their neighborhood, whether it's campus or their own little neighborhood, doesn't really make a difference. And they do so by planting plants and trees. So these trees are made available to UT at no cost. The labor is at no cost, okay. although you can tell that the grounds department really is very, very helpful in uh, um, preparing, preparing. So it's really a collaboration with you know, the grounds department as well. Yeah. UT Grounds, Toledo Grows, and Lucas County Solar Water Conservation. Those are the three organizations. The upshot is uh, that we have 40 some trees, and some as small as three feet, and some as tall, what would you say, six or seven or eight feet, that uh, the ground, grounds department and I, uh, we've selected sites for these trees to be planted. What we'd like to do is have sites that are visible, uh, so the students have you know, some recognition of their work, so to speak. And the, um, both Groves and the Lucas County Soil and Water Conservation District have asked that we do something that links them with the river. So this is, this is you know, in an overall sense, maybe I'm representing the Commission on the River, okay. the President's Commission on the River. So if there's a fourth collaborator in this, it's the President's Commission on the River. Why do you think uh, planting trees and planting gardens uh, brings the community together? I know Toledo Grows has done a lot of different things downtown, yeah. a lot of urban, uh, you know, students, uh, yeah. elementary kids with community gardens. Why, why do you think uh, gardening is one of the things that, that brings the community together? It's yeah, a very good question. It is, uh, it, uh, planting gardens builds a connection between the residents and their neighborhoods between students and their campus. Uh, everybody, um, this is from just from a strictly personal point of view, Hassan. When I was young, I always had a, fa a favorite tree, the one that I saw from my bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. And that tree was always there. And when I was young, and maybe many others, I grew my own vegetables. And it really made a connection with the earth and my immediate environs. My tree, you know, my vegetables, my yes. plants. Yes. And so I think that's sort of, it's kind of an ethical thing or a, um, a philosophical thing where people get more connected to their area if they have their hands in the soil and see something grow that they've planted. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it has shown been shown over and over. What was your favorite tree, by the way? Yeah, a maple tree. Maple tree. I live in Holland, the Netherlands. Okay. Mm -hmm. a gigantic maple tree outside my front window of my bedroom. That was my, <laughs> and even when I went to school, my office, outside my office, I had a, a Florida pine and, uh, and a Florida bald cypress. That's why there's the cypress tree here, by the way, because <laughs> I planted it. <laughs> that one over there is not doing that well, actually. The, the, the taller one? Yeah, that's a bald cypress tree. It is a um, tree that is really at the upper edge of its range here. It's really a southeastern tree, uh, but because the lakes in this area have a moderating influence on the climate, it is always a little warmer here than it is, say, an hour south of here. So this uh, bald cypress will grow here too. And I put one in the rain garden for that reason. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> All right. So can you give me some some background on on today and what exactly is going on and the mission of Toledo Grows? Mm -hmm. um, Toledo Grows is the outreach program of the Toledo Botanical Garden. Um, we do community outreach, we support community gardens, and we have job training programs for inner city youth. Um, the program that we're working on right now is a partnership between Toledo Grows and Lucas County Soil and Water, dubbed Green Corps, um, and it deals with uh, storm water 
decreasing stormwater um, through building of rain barrels, um, installation of rain gardens around town, and um, planting trees and flood plants like we're doing today. And so it was a, a natural partnership uh, with UT because they had the, those same goals. What's it been like working with the uh, inner city youth and kind of kind of rehabilitating uh, some of these offenders, people on probation? What's it been like? Um, it's it's pretty amazing actually. I learn as much from them as as I am trying to teach. You know, it's it's just it's basically soft skills that we're trying to get across so that they um, have the skills to go out in the future and apply for a job, write a resume, interview, and then retain that job. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like showing up on time, um, proper language, um, having fun, mm -hmm. just things like that. So it's, I mean, it's a really, for, for me, it's a really great time. We just work side by side on um, community gardening projects and rain gardens and planting trees and stuff like that, which I love to do. Yeah. Um, and they feed into that and they oftentimes love it too. How, how do you think uh, working on these rain garden projects is uh, is successful in training them? Um, what do you think that they get out of it um, in terms of job training um, and just collaboration? Well, a whole host of skills, those, those soft skills that I was talking about before. Um, working with a team, working with each other. As often as possible, I like to give them the responsibility of, you know, once we've done a couple, um, the responsibility of decision making, you know, where do you think this one should go given all of the information that we've learned from um, Lucas County Soil and Water, etc. Um, where does it go? What kind of plants should we use? Where? What kind of spacing should it get? And they're learning these skills of planting a rain garden, but they're also learning the skills and the self-confidence um, to make decisions and work as a team and be leaders while others are sometimes followers and then it switches. Um. Cool. Appreciate the question. Uh, we're open up to our organizations in the community to give them opportunities to help us with the ownership and being sustainable and the university is looking at putting na native trees in that actually will adapt to the area. We're working with Hans Gothens, a uh, professor in the area mm -hmm. and other communities to help organizations in the community to help us with our initiative to be better uh, stewards of the land. Okay. Um, what do you think UT gets gets out of this project in terms of uh, you know planning these gardens, uh, helping the students out, um, reaching out to the community? Um, I, I think we're given opportunities to actually get hands-on experience. Uh, getting out here, you could study so much in the classroom, but actually get your hands dirty and and being one that helps plan and, and give a sense of ownership and being good stewards with the land. Get your uh, to be more. Um, uh, it was a team effort. We're all we're all connected. <laughs> so that when I get a real job, you know, I'm I have experience in the field of doing things by myself and being independent. Like now, I'll be able to learn. You know what I'm saying basically by doing this program, I'm learning how to live on my own mm -hmm. and do things on my own. Well, what kind of things have you learned? I mean, like environmental things basically and mm -hmm. just stuff like when I go to trainings they teach you how to do stuff like originally for regular jobs not just this job because mm -hmm. this is a part-time job yeah so like they be teaching you like manners and how you talk to your uh, your boss and stuff like that and it's just a whole lot of stuff that when you do get your own regular job and your real job out here your full-time yeah. job, you'll know exactly what to do. Have you have you had another uh, part-time job, full-time job before yes, this? Sir. No. All right. So, are you planning on going back into the work? Are you going? Are you planning on going into the workforce after yes, this? Sir. Cool. What are your interests? I mean, I really haven't thought about it all of my, all the way yet. Yeah. Saying, but just being able to provide for myself and support my family. Cool. Well, what have you learned uh, environmentally uh, from working with them in terms of gardening and Crops. Today, that it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. And, I mean, just a lot of stuff like how what different plants are. You know what I'm saying they was talking about all the little different plants we was planting. You know what I'm saying I was just learning how to how to garden. You know what I'm saying and do it the appropriate way, how to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying then yesterday we was digging holes and you know what I'm saying planting, just doing a whole lot of little stuff that we were doing, throwing a little manure and stuff on the earth. Uh, on the grass so that next season it'll be appropriate to put the stuff in there and be able to plant the trees so the uh, dirt will be 
how you call it, I would say, clean, you know what I'm saying, and ready to uh, put plants in there. Did you plan on uh, applying these skills to your own, like, personal yeah, I, garden? I plan on being self-sufficient? Yeah, cool. having a garden myself. All right. Have you worked with any other uh, kids your age on this project?